In the last tutorial, we were writing a simple little script that uses wget to check to see if we have any new message, messages in Gmail. Um, so as we were viewing last time around, uh, there's this site, mail.google.com forward slash mail forward slash feed forward slash Adam gives a quick little feed of new mails you have. And with the script we wrote last time, we can run that and it gives us the HTML output of, um, of that page. Now let's say we wanted to be able to control our computer remotely by sending an email to our Gmail account telling our computer what command to run. Uh, well that's what we're going to do today. A very simple uh, way to do it. So let's start looking at that. What I'm going to do is I am going to send myself an email uh, and what I'm going to do in it is I'm going to set the um, the subject to this. It's going to be command actually we'll go my command and then a colon and then the command which we'll do list this time. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to write out uh, an email to myself with that as the subject, body can be left blank or you can put it wherever you want in the body and I'll send it. So now if I go back to this page and I'll refresh it, it should show up right there. Uh, so I have a new message and the subject is my command colon ls which is the list command. So now if we were to run our script again, it will be in there right here you'll see the title of one of the emails is my command L, colon ls so let's take our script and grep out all the lines that say my command colon and we get title my command colon ls so at this point uh, we want to grab that ls command so what we'll do is we'll now run pipe this into our cut command with a delimiter of colon which is our delimiter right here that's where we're going to be cutting and we want the second field so dash field 2 because we want what's on the right hand side of that colon now we run this command and we'll get our ls but we'll still get that title uh, 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 tag after it we can cut that out by doing cut again uh, with a delimiter of the less than symbol and a field of field one because we want what's on the left hand side of the less than symbol. So we should do that and we get just ls as an output. Now if we were to put this with the little um, things that look like single quotes, they're over by the one on your number pad, they're not single quotes, and we hit enter, it will run that command because it takes the output of that, which is ls, and runs it as a command, which runs ls and gives us the output of our files. So at this point, we can put this into a loop, like so, while one semicolon do will go sleep 1m for one minute, so it's going to do this every minute. Next command, it will do this, and we'll do done for loop. And so every minute it is going to loop, so it's going to wait a minute now, and in a minute it will run that command. It will check the email, and if there's a new email with a subject line of my command, it will take whatever command is after the colon there and run it on your computer. Now right now where we're at, uh, the only problem with this is uh, it's once the email's there, we're not checking it, so every minute it's going to recheck and run that same command. In our next video, we'll start looking into other ways of checking email, and we'll look into ways of setting it so that it will only run that command once. But I hope you're enjoying these tutorials on having fun with Gmail and Bash. Uh, this is just one way of doing it. We'll go over other ways in the future and look at other fun things you can do. You just have to be creative. And as you saw today, you can now send emails to your Gmail account and have your computer run those commands once it uh, receives that email. So have a great day. Visit filmsbychris.com.
or bash scripts.info. You can see a minute is up, it ran our command. Uh, bash scripts.info is my bash script sites. For other uh, open source projects, uh, look at filmsbychris.com. Check out the links in the description. Have a great day.